when people start mm -hmm. not getting the check, they realize, okay, you know, this is a real thing. And I would, I would say that that among other things, that probably was the biggest driver, you know, people decide why they start trying to talk. I, I guess I, I was just trying to, I'm looking at page 15 also, which has the total amount for 2019. Well, is that, is that bottom number with the total amount as well? No, sir. So um, the reason for the difference, and, and so these on page 15 and 16, those um, uh, spreadsheets, I got those from the Regional Commission. And so um, one of the issues we had as far as why the numbers look a little, that's really only for half the year, because when we went to 911 with the new CAD system, um, the regional commission is temporarily kind of, they used to get all our call information, so they, like, that's how they were able to give us 2014 through 18 numbers, because they had all that data. And so with the new CAD system, that, um, when we cut off the old one, they lost their data feed, and so we've been working with IT to get it back. But, so they were actually only able to give me these numbers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, that would be great if that was our numbers, but no, so, so what we had to do, if you look back on page 13, how we arrived at that number of 2154 is we took, you know, I ran this, these numbers from um, the Regional Commission, which gave me the breakdowns, and then I got a 911, and they gave me the total number of calls from the time when this cut off to the end of the year, um, but we just weren't able to run the report and then the breakdown by stations. So I can, t I can tell you with certainty that what's on page 15, the 21, 54, 54 is an accurate number for the entire year. I just couldn't the regional commission go down by fire station. Yeah, now, something else is like 2019 on page 14, it says 985. And the half on page 15 says 2,986. I'm sorry. It, 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 so on, on page on page 15, 14, 14 and 15, just between the two. That's what I was looking at. Okay, so so 985. When I'm, we talk about volunteer call responses by year, that means there were 985 times that volunteer firefighters listed on the fire report. So it may be that of those 985, it could be that five volunteers responded to the same call. So I'm just giving you a cumulative number of volunteer responses. It's not the number of fires they responded to, it's the number of volunteers that responded. So, so like, say that Commissioner Griner responded to 200 calls and you responded to 150, when I reported that, I would report that we had 350 responses. Does that make sense? Okay. So, I'm just trying to make sure. So the 3,179 for the volunteers in 2019, it's been a whole year just for the volunteers. Just for the volunteers. That doesn't count the pace. And on page 15, the 1,561 is for, for all of them? Half the year. And that's half the year. That's, that, that's, that's calls. That's not, that's not, so that's two different, two different pieces of information. You may have four, four, four responses on one call. You may have one call for someone two on page 15. You may have four responses. You have four. In 2019, we had 2,154 calls. On those 2,154 calls, we had 3,179 volunteers show up cumulatively to those calls. Wow. That was still there. 4,154 was still there when it was in 18. And a lot of that is, is because of what Lloyd and the guys are doing in the fire prevention now. So, so, so we're so what's the lowest basically, I guess, in the last five years in the six month month? Uh, where did the 2154 number come from? You actually, actually got that straight to the bottom line. Okay. But that's, that's not, that's not, that's not right. the number we're using. But that's the number we're using for 2019. That's call that. So that's the top page of the You do right in the first one.
Any other questions concerning the graphs and the numbers associated with those? Just so we, when we talk the calls, do you want to oh, we're going to consider the average uh, total amount of calls, the, the highest amount of calls? We're going to be thinking about future stations versus just the, uh, the momentary one or even the one that may not have uh, even high responses. I think it's important that, that we so <coughs> for just a second though, because our our fire calls are are, are down for 2019. The number of the number of issues that we have to deal with is called that are down lower than they've been in five years. But our volunteer response numbers are significantly up. So I mean I think that's a I mean I think that's worth thinking about for just a minute. That that's success. I mean, you know, we, uh, am I right? You, you you are correct. So there's there's a lot of positives, and that's what makes that's why I would not want to be in your position because there's so many factors that go into it. For example, um, when ISO comes in, all they look at is your infrastructure fires. They don't look at grass fires. They don't look at car accidents. They say, pull me the last. 20 fire, structure fires, house fires you've had. And we pull the reports, and that's how they determine our, what they credibly give us for staffing. So um, we get full credit for each paid firefighter because they're on call, they know they're not in the spot. They're, as soon as the call comes in, um, they give us um, partial credit for volunteers because. Um, you know, they have to, they have a response time and they have their own call. Um, so, <clears throat> one of the other, other factors, and um, I don't have the, they haven't submitted their, their reports yet, but um, I know that when we looked at it, um, the last, the last 20 hours we had when the lady came in, she evaluated us in September, I believe. Um, at that point, over those 20 structure fires we had, um, we averaged nine people, and that includes our pay staff. We, we have, have nine people on the scene at a house fire. Now, some of those you may have had 15, and some of them you may have had six. Um, and so, and the reason they do that is because, so, and I'm just full disclosure, so, kind of understand that 3179 it very well may be that we had five volunteers respond to a, a fire alarm or a, a tree down on the road or uh, you know some weird storm um, so you, then you have to if you really want to gauge it okay you, you know, what does our numbers look like you really didn't have to flesh it down even more and say okay um, what what types of calls, and that's where we just didn't have, you know, had I had been able to report that, then we would have, but it's hard to break down. So, while well, I want you to leave here and think, man, volunteer, you're doing great, I also don't want you to think, oh, we have 3,100 volunteers, so, you know, everything's, everything's good. I don't know, I don't know. <coughs> there's no issues that we have to set out. I mean, <coughs> a quick question, Joe. Uh, which one of the, uh, Volunteer stations is, is somewhat near the area that we actually received a petition from. I mean, the callers received a petition at the meeting. Which, which station is closest? Or, or, or many of them? And what station is that? North Alliance? How's this look at the non call? Old Island or North? Is it? Man? I mean, is it? Okay. So that's why I, I mean, it's an active volunteer station. With equipment in there, all, 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 all of these stations. Okay, I understand that they did not respond to the Stone Creek fire. The That's chief, right. the chief of that station responded to that fire, but he responded as a firefighter for the city of Hay How many of firefighters are there? Um, at that station, they have 
10 active firefighters. And so, and I will tell you the ones that I, so, and this is a problem with volunteerism in general. So, when that fire came in, um, the chief, as he mentioned, he was working on that fire truck in the CNA hour. Um, one of the other firefighters, he owns his own, <coughs> own business, so he was out of town on business. One of the other firefighters that's one of the more active ones in that station is a um, flight paramedic. So he was actually out of town on a life flight helicopter. Um, one of the um, other firefighters that, that we had contacted, he, he, you know, he basically reached out to us and said, hey, I'm sorry I missed the fire. Um, but my family and I were, were out of town on, on vacation. So you know, that's, that's one of the issues with volunteers while, you know, we say well, nobody in that station responded, but the ones we've talked to um, that, uh, that historically, you know, we're like, hey, we can count on them because they're in town, they respond. It just happened that they all had other obligations and they weren't available to respond. Any further questions on that? I'd like to go now.